What's up, family? Welcome back to Anything Alexia. My name's Alexia, and today we're gonna be looking at other people who also have pools, but these pools should not exist because they crazy. But before we start today's video, I need you all to smash that like button as hard as you can and only smash like if you ever want to swim again because I'm a lifeguard and I might just kick you out. Our first pool we got is called the Golden Nugget. And no, the pool's not filled with hundreds of chicken nuggets. If it was, I'd probably sink to the bottom from eating all of them. This pool is in Las Vegas, USA and you'd think it's a regular pool except it got sharks all over it. But don't worry, family, the sharks are not exactly in the same swimming water as you. They're separated by a glass wall and this yellow tube looking thing. Hence why the name Golden Nugget. So you swim down this thing that looks like a giant curly fry. And then just like you gotta do when you cook a golden beautiful potato, you gotta pop them in the oven. Just like this slide slides the people in the oven. Or should I say Shark Tank? I don't know which one would be worse. So you go through the tube, you see all the scary, creepy fish, and then you finally make it out to the other side, and then you pray to the fish cause that you didn't get gobbled up like a giant piece of corn on the cob. Next up, we got a pool in Mumbai, India, and it's actually the Om symbol. For those of y'all who don't know, the Om symbol is actually considered to be the sound of the universe and all of its vibrations, you know, positive thing. So I guess the architects in India were feeling some type of way that day and said, you want happy? I'll show you happy. And ta-da, this thing. Oh my God, witty crazy. There are hundreds of pools outlining the whole building on every single floor. These hundreds of pools are actually infinity pools, which means they don't got no walls. And with no walls, that means you can fall off. And I don't know about you family, but I don't know what's so peaceful about falling outside of a 200 story building and getting smushed like a pancake to your death. Ooh, maybe that's why they called it the Ohm building. Cause all you hear all day is people falling and oh, 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 they goners. So this pool is actually a secret tunnel from one room to another room. Except the only catch is that once you get in that swimming pool tunnel, there's no way getting out unless you make it to the other side. This girl might look like she's having fun cause she's doing some twists and twirls and spinning all around. But believe me, family, it's all fun and games until you stay under the water for too long and then your head starts doing some twirls because you'd be running out of air. Girl better be treating that swimming pool tunnel like a Minecraft speed run or else it ain't looking too pretty. This pool here has people actually standing under water. How are they doing this, you might ask? Well, simple. It's not real. And you might say, Alexia, of course it's real. I can see it with my big chunky green eyes myself. I uh, know, family. Get your glasses checked. Yes, it's the shape of a swimming pool. Yes, there's real water on there. But does the water go completely to the bottom? Mm -mm -mm. I don't think so. It's actually just a small room that looks like a swimming pool where people look up and see the itty bitty bitty layer of water. Talk about catfish. You ever think the people on top did a one, two, three belly flop on top? Thinking it was a real pool. And then instead of getting the big splash like they were expecting, they got a big smash of their bones because they're probably all broken now. Whoopsies. Okay, this right here is actually the biggest pool in the whole entire world. Yeah, family, it is like super long. How many feet? How many meters? I don't know, but I know it's attached to a giant resort with many different buildings and it is a very big attraction for people around the world. And how could it not be? Saying that you went to the biggest pool in the world, that's a flex. But not that much of a flex because actually you're not even allowed to swim in this pool because it's so big that they say the lifeguards won't be able to see you if you start uh, 
drowning. And the weirdest part about it is this pool is actually man-made and fully heated. Oh yeah, Mr. Uh, architecture, sir? I have a great idea. I want to build the biggest, most ginormous pool that you have ever seen in your whole life. Blue waters, heated. The most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Except I don't want people to be allowed to swim in it. What kind of stupid pool lets people do that? Oh yeah, did I mention the pool's gonna cost like $500 million? I think it's a good investment. Also, the pool's not completely gone to waste because you are still allowed to go on a boat in it, paddleboard, water trampoline, all that kind of stuff. But to actually swim, that's a big no. You have better chance of swimming in your own pool of sweat over there because it also gets pretty freaking hot. Not letting people swim on a scorching hot day? That's disrespectful to the Son. This pool looks like something that came out straight from a horror movie. Uh, pools are supposed to be blue, right? I guess wrong? Because this thing is smoking hot red. You would think you're swimming in your own pool of blood, but it's just water. Water sounds more boring. So there's nothing actually different about this pool. It is still regular water. The only difference is that the tiles underneath it are red instead of blue. But even though I know it's regular water and not blood, this pool is tripping me out more than when I drink 10 cups of coffee in one day. I got a little crazy. And I'm sure this pool would make us crazy too. Unless it killed us first. Never judge a book by its cover, but always judge a pool by its color. And to be honest, I don't like it. This pool is my actual living nightmare. They literally cut a giant piece out of the ice and make this pool in the middle of winter in Sweden. People swim through it and do races in it because apparently it has health benefits to swim in cold water. But I don't know what kind of health benefits they're talking about except for stress, anxiety, fear, and controllable crying. Because that would be me if I went in that water. Apparently, if you stay in this water for over 30 minutes, your body actually might start to shut down because it's that cold. This pool is the definition of the opposite of playing with fire because they'd be practically playing with ice. And funny enough, with both situations, you'd probably get burned either way because this sounds like a recipe for frostbite. Ugh. We have talked about the biggest pool in the world, but this is the deepest pool in the world. It's called the Y40 and it's actually in Italy. And you can't tell it's there at all. Flexing on your country's biggest achievement, even down 50 meters underwater, that's a boss move. This pool is only supposed to be for the most experienced divers because once you get down there, I'm pretty sure you can assume you can't get out. They make you sign some super sketchy waiver before you go in saying, if anything happens to you down there, uh, you know, we're not liable. We can't help you. So yes, did I make the deepest, darkest, scariest, and probably most dangerous pool in the world? Yeah. But am I taking any responsibility for it? None at all. Perfect. This pool reminds me of when I was in high school and my grades just kept going lower and lower and lower. And I never knew if they'd ever get back up. Spoiler alert, they didn't. Just like many divers in this pool. This is a wave pool in Asia that people, for some reason, really wanted to go to super bad. But the problem with this pool is that on one sunny, hot summer day, the wave function on the wave pool actually malfunctioned and the waves ended up being 10 times bigger than they were actually supposed to be. This caused people to get stuck in these giant waves, accidentally falling all over each other and it was a big mess. But thankfully, nobody ended up Oofing. And I'm pretty sure all of them got their tickets refunded from the park at the end of the day. So who's the real winners? Yeah, they might have scratches and bruises that will never go away from this tragic accident. But if you got to save 20 bucks, then I'd call that a win. Don't look at me crazy. Everybody likes a deal. And if you didn't think those other pools were crazy enough, these people decided they wanted to get in a pool with a live alligator. Specifically one who's very hungry. <laughs> Is it bad that I kind of want to see that alligator take one chomp of the glass and have it smash into a thousand little pieces? Oh no, what would we do then? The people would be out of their cage. Alligator, I think you know what to do. All these years of people taunting you, teasing you, flexing on you that you can't eat them. Well, now's your time, bro. You eat those people and I hope it's the best meal you ever had in your whole life. Oh wait, did I go too far? I mean, no, no, I would never want that to happen to anybody. Promise? 
These people think it's a flex to be swimming with an alligator when they're in a cage, but clearly they've never swam in a pool with a newborn baby because those things be peeing everywhere with no warning at all. Getting out of that pool of dirty apple juice, that's the real flex. And our last pool today is built on one of the tallest hotels in the whole world. Not only that, but it's literally suspended on the outside of the hotel with what seems to be nothing holding it up from underneath. And we take it one step further than that and say that the floor of the pool is actually made of all see-through glass. Hope y'all ain't scared of height or scared of glass breaking because if it does, you be taking a one-way ticket down to the ground floor of the building building and you didn't get there from the hotel elevator. You know what I mean? But anyways, family, that is all of the pools that should not exist that I have for you today. If you like today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to join our amazing family, hit that subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and then you won't miss any of our videos. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.